Well, we are now in November, but the tropics remain as active as ever with three areas of interest. The first area we're going to focus on is the Caribbean. We've been talking about this for the last couple of days, we're basically the last week. There is now a high chance of tropical development, 80% chance that this will develop within the next seven days, and the chance that this will develop in the next two days rising as well. Overall, broad area of low pressure is going to be forming in this region, and the Hurricane Center believes that a tropical depression may try to form by the end of this weekend or very early next week. Now, long-term track, starting to see some focus in a lot of our global models suggesting that this will move either north or northwest, and that would mean a possible track towards the Gulf of Mexico. The other area that we're watching is just to the north of Puerto Rico and the island of Hispaniola, much lower chance of development with that. Let's go ahead and focus in on the tropical steering. Because this area in the Caribbean is kind of taking its time to get organized, that's why we're going to start watching the upper level pattern. And as we move into next week, you see that area of high pressure, that little blob of, blob of orange, that would help to direct this system in more of a westerly track. This would be through the first half of next week. You can see one of our models, the American model, shows some interaction with the Greater Antilles and a possible move towards the southern Gulf of Mexico. Now, once we get beyond Wednesday, there's a lot of uncertainty. Some models go north, some go much farther west. The other thing that we're going to watch is strengthening wind shear over the northern gulf. So even if this were to make a move maybe towards the northern gulf coast, we think that this will encounter some very strong wind shear, which would start to weaken substantially anything that moves into this area. So still a lot of question marks beyond Wednesday, so we'll certainly be keeping a close eye on that. We have newly formed subtropical storm Patty, that little swirl with that little eye feature in the northern Atlantic. It was designated by the National Hurricane Center Saturday morning as of 4 a.m. Maximum winds 50 miles per hour and it is moving off to the east and southeast. This general movement will continue through the Azores and then eventually work towards uh, Portugal and Spain. No threat to the U.S. from Patty. But we have now checked Patty off of the storm list. So the next three names up, Rafael, Sarah, and Tony. We'll continue to track the tropics, including that area in the Caribbean, over the coming days.